All right, take a look at this problem. Every kid in our class made a goal to eat more fruit. There are 26 kids in our class. So what would we need to know to know how many pieces of fruit they ate all together? Well, yeah, we would need to know well, how much fruit are they is each kid eating? So imagine each kid made a goal to eat 20 cups of fruit a month. I know, I know, it sounds like a lot, but if you break it up over a month, it's really not that much. It's not even a cup a day. Chill out, people. All right, so let's see. So what is this asking us for? Well, we do not know the total, but we do know that each kid is going to eat 20 pieces of fruit, and there are 26 kids. So I could draw 26 20s or just say, okay, there's going to be 26 of those 20s. We're trying to find what is the total amount of fruit. Okay, so that definitely is multiplication. But, oh, we have double digit, double digit. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, the kids always think they know how to do this, and they're wrong. It is not like addition. It is not zero times six, zero two times two is four. The answer is 40. Let's see if that is reasonable. If I had 26 20s, should it equal 40? No, because that is not how you do double digit multiplication. Get out of your brain, erase that from your thoughts. That is not how you do it. So let's get rid of all that craziness because it's wrong. Okay, but we do have to do all 26 kids, each one had 20 cups of fruit. So let's use what we knew from area models of multiplication. You know, I'm multiplying 20. And I can break up this 26. So we can say, okay, 26 broken up is 20 and 6. Ah, this just got a little easier. Okay, so remember all your zero patterns. We're looking for the partial products inside. So let's see what's 20 times 20. Well, two times two is four. We have two zeros, which means this is times 100. So 20 times 20 is 400. And in this other box, we have 20 times six. Well, I know that two times six is 12. And I have a zero, which means I'm times this by 10. So that's 120. And anytime we have partial products, we add them up. Seems like a much more reasonable answer here. Ah, so each, all together, the children ate 520 cups of fruit. Okay, so that is simple enough. We just have a larger number on the outside. Now, this is only going to work with numbers that have zero. Once we have numbers that are not with zero, we are talking a different kind of area model. We will learn that next. But for now, let's practice another one like this. I can get all this erased. Ah, erased for crazy. Okay. Let's try just a similar problem. What if we had something like 39 times 40? Okay, and it, I can go either way. I can re even break up the number this way and say 30 and 9 times 40. But sometimes kids freak out when it's like that, so I'll do, go ahead and do it. Oops, I'll do it horizontally. But it really doesn't matter. It does not matter. As long as you get the right product, who cares? I personally like it horizontally myself too. Um, so I'm going to break up that 39 and just do 30 and 9. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go 40 times 30. I know 4 times 3 is 12, and there are two zeros, so 1,200. And 40 times 9. 4 times 9 is 36. I have a 0, so I'm times this by 10, so it's 360. And what do we do with our partial products? We don't have the full product. They are only partial products. That's right. We add them up. 1,200 
plus 360. And make that a zero. Zero plus zero is nothing. Six plus zero is six, not zero, people. Three plus two is five. And there is my one. So the partial products for this, technically you can write your partial products. I had 1,200, 360. And the final product, 1,560. Um, if I do it horizontally or vertically, I should say, you'll get exactly the same thing. It's just showing it in a different way, but same thing. All right, so how about you give it a try? I'll give you a problem, pause the video, see if you can solve it, and then we'll check and see if you got it. Why don't we try 54 times 30. And remember, it doesn't matter if it's the other way. Multiplication is commutative, which means you can switch the numbers around and you will get the same product. But go ahead and pause the video. Give it a try. See if you can solve it on your own. All right, we're back. Hopefully you actually paused it. Sneaky kids. All right, let's try. I'm going to do 30 on this side. I'm going to break up. 54 into its tens and ones, 50 and 4. All right, and this is 1,500. This is 120. Now I have my partial products. I'm going to do it over here. Ignore that. And 120. Remember, we're adding these up, we're combining them. And what this diagram is showing is put these together. Together. And super simple addition most of the time. And there's our final product, 1,620. How'd you do? Hope you got it right.